going to use a rapid strip just to get that outer edge there. give you a little quick update on the face plate as you see I've been cleaning it up wire wheeling and polishing and it's looking a whole lot better than it was I'm having to I had to come inside because we're actually getting ready to have some rain come through and it started sprinkling outside so I just kind of rolled it in here but we're pretty much done with the back side and the uh, outside diameter of it I've been using I use a wire wheel to knock off all of the real thick fuzz and rust and then I went back with the uh, Norton rapid strip polishing wheels and slicking it off getting all that that coating of rust off of it still got a couple spots in here that I need to uh, touch up with the wire wheel that I missed like right there there's still a little bit of uh, crud up in there, and I still got to get any slots on too. But we've got the threads wire wheeled out. And as you can see, I've got the face left to do and the and the T slots and things. so I'm going to go ahead and get started on that now. See if I can get some of it done. How far I can get anyway. Uh, but my main thing was just the center bore. I wanted to get the threads cleaned out. But I just, I wanted to go ahead after I did that. I was like, hell, let's go ahead and start cleaning it up. But it's looking good though. It hasn't looked that clean. And who knows how long, how many decades it's been. <laughs> so we're going to keep cracking at it.
right, we're getting there pretty, pretty dang close to uh, being polished up. I'm still going to go over it a couple more times, but the, uh, the majority of it's done. But I still got to get into the T slots. So I'm going to. I found this little wire wheel here, and this will actually reach down in the T slots here. And I might be able to get a little bit of it cleaned out with this. But see, like my cut brush, this is about all I got besides a bigger one of these. These won't fit. So I've got to try to come up with a, a better way to cleaning those T-slots out. I, I'm not sure exactly what that's going to be yet. Might be just a different kind of wheel that I don't have already. So we'll see. But I'm going to do some more with the air grinder. Still got a little bit of detailing that I got to do to it, but what I want to do is go over it with a fresh rapid strip wheel. This is what I've been using Norton Blaze Rapid Strip. Seems like a, a new wheel, a fresh wheel, uh, puts a better sheen on the surface. So I've been using the two old wheels, I've been using those up, getting it all polished and clean. And I'm going to go with a fresh wheel and see if we can get a little bit better polish on the face of it right here. <clears throat> And then once we do that, I'll be pretty much done with this. Uh, but I, I need to find, I'm going to buy me some smaller wire wheels uh, to use in the air grinder to kind of get in there and do a little bit of the detail work. Uh, it's putting off more dust than what I thought, so I'm going to go ahead and put my mask on. I think I pretty well got her cleaned up. What I've just done was I uh, went over the back here, you know, even though I wire brushed and everything, it's still dirty, so you gotta clean it. I, I wanted to clean it, try to get all of the, you know, all the dust off of it. So you know, I use my little zip sprayer here with my fast evaporating degreaser. You know, just spray a little on like that. Go behind with some rags and just kind of wipe it. And you wipe all the dust and everything off of it, you know, and then that that dries dries really quick. So that's what I've been doing is just kind of cleaning it. You know, like all the little corners here that's hard to hard to get with the wheels and the wire wheels. Just been wiping it up, and I got this. Uh, this bore, I got it 
wire wheel pretty good. Went in there with that small one and I got all those threads pretty well cleaned out. And you know they look good. They they're they're uh, polished up, but the uh, the condition that they're in as far as the metal I don't know if it was just a rough ass casting or or what. I mean, because there's a lot of let me see if I can get you a shot of it. It's kind of a bad angle, really, but I've wire brushed them. I've wire brushed them so that they they're they're free of rust and dust and dirt and all that kind of stuff. So I can machine my shaft to screw in here, and I'm not worried about how how clean this is. So it's that's done. So what I'll probably do now, I've got the rest of it polished up. I think now it's time to go ahead and uh, spray it down with a coating of oil. Now we're starting to get some rain coming through here. I've been working with my door open so that the dust can ventilate. But it's probably time to go ahead and coat her down now with some oil of some sort. I've still got to finish <clears throat> wiping it off from the front, you know, the front side here. You see where my uh, cleaner dripped through. So I need to clean it good again. Wipe it off real good and then I'm going to oil it down. Well, that's <clears throat> pretty much a wrap on the cleaning up of the face plate there. I've got a I got her oil down now, that's why it might look wet. I uh, decided to use WD-40 on this instead of some of the other stuff. I've got uh, steroid oil also. Steroid oil works good, but it leaves a, a thicker film and kind of attracts more dust and everything if it sits a while. Uh, it shouldn't be trying to rust up on me unless I, you know, have the door open when it's real humid outside, but the, uh, once it, coats itself good with that WD-40 and kind of soaks into the surface there. It should be pretty good to go. And you got the back side, back side also there. See it's kind of wetted in. So I'm just going to let it dry. It should, it, most of that should kind of dry up. But um, yeah, that's about it. So the, uh, I wanted to, I wanted to get the uh, center of it cleaned up so that I can go ahead and get ready to start on the rest of the, uh, the shaft work down in the lathe, get it turned and threaded to fit inside there. So while I was doing that, I just said, heck with it, let's go ahead and just get it cleaned up and get that part of it done. So that's what I did. So I'm, uh, I'm happy with it, you know, and it's been, it's been a very long time since that face plate, face plate has been that clean before. <laughs> There's no telling how many decades that thing was rusted and, and dusty like that. But I'm happy to see it clean, man. It just it makes me feel so much better that, that it's finally cleaned up and it's not sit there just full of rust. Alright, well that's about it guys. We'll uh, see you on the next round, okay?